Stone, Stepping Stone. I hear you got a little bit of problems going on here. A couple things on your mind. NWA running you down, keeping you from your your world title rematch. Not that you deserve it. Please don't please don't hit me. Um, but uh, right now they they've sent a guy down to take you out. Chance Prophet, the national champ. What's on your mind? Ow! 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 You know, I'm feeling really, really great. I just lost the NWA Mountain State Heavyweight Championship, not by an opponent, not uh, by a contender, but by the NWA itself. Wasn't too long ago, Rand, West Virginia, came that close, that close to being the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. I had Adam Pierce tapping out like a fish. But once again, Adam didn't beat me. A contender didn't beat me. A decision was the cost of that match. And now, the NWA is raging war on me. They sent Chance Prophet, the national heavyweight champion, to take Strozilla out. To take the people's champion out. To take the maestro of wrestling out of commission. And I should feel wonderful, right? I should feel ecstatic. I should feel really good. <laughs> yes and no. No meaning I am angry. I am upset. I am enraged. And I am fired up. <sighs> and yes, I'm feeling so good right now. You know why? Because I've got your attention, Mr. Trovich. I've got your attention, NWA. And now, the war has just begun. Bring Chance Prophet forward. He is the national heavyweight champion. He is weird beyond Venus, Pluto, and Neptune. He is the national heavyweight champion once again. And he now is a mercenary for Mr. Trovich, the NWA president, the NWA itself. <laughs> what chance? You think you're crazy. <laughs> so Zilla is psychotic! Because I'm going to hurt you! I'm going to chop you! I'm going to beat the living hell out of you! Because I want what's mine! What's mine! And that's the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. I don't care if it's Coca Cabana. I don't care if it's Adam Pierce, Blue Demon, Taco Echolada. It doesn't matter! Give me what I want, Trobitch. Give me what I want. Well, I'm coming to you and taking it. If it's in Hollywood, it's anywhere on the U.S., overseas, etc. Strozilla wants the gold. Stro for the gold. And just like I've said many times before, I will not give up. I will not quit until that belt is mine. <sighs> Round one. Ding, ding. Chance, you're first on the NWA hit list. Ooh, la la. Seriously, you're going, you're going to hear from my lawyer. Tough man, big tough guy. <laughs>
Jacques Moliere, the man's man, here with the voice of tradition, Jonathan Styles, and the outlaw rock star, Stephen Hensley. And I tell you what, fans, we want to thank the continued sponsorship of Mountain State Wrestling by Lewis Automotive, Kramer Securities, and Mark Hunt and Associates. We come to you live today from Mullins, West Virginia at the American Legion Hall. And we have a great main event in that best of five series, the I Quit match between Carl and Ricky Shane. That's right. And this best of five series, it's been something else. But only one man's crazy enough to walk away the winner. I Quit scenario, it's going to go to my boy Carl. He's a man that not only likes pain, but he can inflict it better than anybody else on the planet. He's never going to say, I quit. And I tell you what, fans, we also got a lot of other great wrestlers. We got the maestro. We got Ron Sexton. We got Pitbull Bob Brown and many, many more. So let's get to the ring for our opening contest. The Dark Horse Matt Oh my God, Chance Prophet has just burst on the scene. And he is just absolutely decimating the Dark Horse Matt Barnett. Puts him in position. In position. Fantastic power bomb by Chance Prophet, who has laid to waste Rookie of the Year candidate Matt Barnett. Chance Prophet saying he isn't done yet. Throws Matt Barnett out of the ring. Chance Prophet, I have to ask you, what is the meaning of this unprovoked attack on If you'd shut your mouth, people would actually gain a lot of viewpoints. You're a bully! In Mullins, West Virginia, I have not been sitting here to listen to a bunch of idiots complain about who's the best wrestler. I haven't been sent <laughs> to listen to a little whiny brat who calls himself the Dark Horse to play about what he needs to do and what he's going to get done because what I do is I get things done and I'm here, I'm here tonight on being shut your mouth. There's not enough time for you, ladies. What I'm here for is a little bit more than what you can fathom. What you can fathom. And what you idiots in this crowd can fathom. Mr. Maestro, I'm here on behalf of the board. They don't, they don't like you. And I don't like you either. If you don't catch the drift, Robbie, I'm here to end you. You know, uh, Jimmy Valiant told me, he said, son, when you get there and you get a title, you ain't done. That's just the beginning of the climb. And tonight I got one heck of a climb in Justice. Justice, you and I know each other very well, brother. Very well. Might even say we go back just a little bit too far, even start at the same training ground. But like I've said many times before, this ain't camp, this ain't training. This is NWA Mountain State Championship Wrestling, and you are looking at their TV champion. You want this belt? Come get it. But justice is going to be served, but I'm afraid it's going to be on you, brother, because you ain't taking this title off me. Scotty Ray's trying to get the crowd behind him here this morning to get him enticed into this title, big title match. And what a way to open the hour of Mountain State Wrestling this week, fans. Well, Scotty Reigns may have the fans behind him, but if he wants to look eye to eye with Justice, he might want to get a stepladder. Oh, now wait a minute. He's not as far away from Justice's height as you think. And I tell you, both men built physically equally, 
when I look at the brawn in that ring right now. Well, both men very strong, and you're not wrong about that, Jay Styles. But if you think Scotty Reigns is going to have an easy time this morning, you're mistaken. Like I said, my first night that I was commentating, I saw Justice vying for that TV title. Here, a year later, Justice is back on the scene vying for that same title. He's focused, he's mean, and he doesn't need the fans for anything. Well, I tell you, I don't give Justice any doubt or any slack at all. I know that <coughs> many months ago, he won the Battle Royal that gave him a shot against Stroh for the heavyweight title. I mean, the man can come from out of nowhere and garner a victory. Scotty Reigns is gonna definitely have to be on his game if he plans to retain this morning. I'm not gonna take anything away from the man. I just have to question his tactics. Scotty Reigns in control for the moment here, surprisingly, with an incredibly effective head scissors there. Cutting out the win. And what a great arm drag takedown. Scotty Reigns now in control. And the fans calling for the breaking of the arm. Right, Scotty Reigns is above board, and I don't see him doing that, especially with Justice now getting into the ropes, and we see a clean break. Well, there's the mistake. Why? You said a clean break, right? Yes. Why not hold on to it for a little bit longer? Why not go for a nice fist to the head there, you know? Oh, Maintain your advantage. It's like he doesn't even respect his opponent. Well, Scotty Reigns is one man who respects the rules and respects the rules of Mountain State Wrestling. And now Justice has put Scotty Reigns in the side headlock. And see, well, look at, really speaking, happy speaking of rules, him. speaking of rules, Steve, look how Justice disregards the rules against He's not disregarding him. I didn't see him do a single thing that would cause a disqualification. All he did was take full advantage of what he could do. And he's in there against a skilled competitor. Look how quickly Scotty Reigns was able to turn that thing around. That's true. That's just very true. And speaking of quick competitors, they are going to be in our main event today. The end of the best of the five series. An I quit match between Ricky Shane and Carl. I'm looking forward to that one. I tell you, that's definitely one for the books because... There is no pinfalls, there is no count outs, there is no disqualifications. There is two magic words that will end the match. And there! Two magical words that will get that man, that match ended. And that is I quit. Scotty Reigns now with a small four attempt. Big man versus small man. Classic mistake by this little man. God bless the And speaking man. of big men, have you seen who's debuting here this morning? Who's that? It is the man that has been on MountainStateWrestling.com for many weeks now, for, directly from Tennessee, Ron Sexton. That, sir, is no man. That man is a god in this business. Trained by Angelo Popo, don't you know? Popo. Popo, Popo. Popo. You have to forgive me. That's all right. I know you're, you're filling up on your breakfast over there. and But, yeah, I mean, this man has been around, a former NWA Tag Team Champion. And frankly, in fantastic shape when you look at a competitor like Ron Sexton. He's in better shape than the freaking teenagers in the back. It's, oh, look at the cockiness of justice. I like to think of it as showmanship. Oh, but, oh. but that goes to show you the ignorance of justice because of the fact that he could have gotten the pin there and maybe have walked away with the TV title had he not flash for the camera, so to speak. That wasn't arrogance. That was confidence. Plus, as much as I don't like Shai Reigns, you can often see he's in fantastic shape. And Justice knows that with a man who is as in shape as Scotty Reigns is, who's at a point in his career right now where he has the most to lose, he's definitely got to wear him down before he goes for that pinfall. Speaking of pinfalls, look at, look at the nonchalant cover that Justice has applied. And he gets only, only another two. Head games. That's all it is, Jay Styles. But you gotta think, the longer you are out here, the greater the champion advantage because of the fa that 10 minute time limit. His advantage doesn't really seem too pertinent a point when he's getting kicked in the head with a move that big. It's almost the same size as Scotty Rain's head. Uh, five minutes, halfway through our, through our contest now, Scotty Rain's only he's got to last five more minutes, and he can retain that TV title. But I gotta wonder if he's gonna be in a condition to go another five minutes. Five minutes is a long time to get hurt, Jay Styles. 
Tell me about it. Go back to my footage. Episode 247. Look at the beating I took for five minutes or longer. You know, it's the first thing you see on my Facebook page. Oh, my God. My favorite piece of work you've ever done. Please tell me you're kidding. Nope. Oh. I would never lie to a colleague. So we, so people can Heck, look. I wouldn't even lie to you. Whoa, and out of nowhere, Scotty Rain's like a house of fire. Some great clotheslines. Scotty Rain's just measuring chests now. Oh, and down Justice goes again. And uh, to, my, to, to my definite surprise, Justice is in trouble here. Wait a minute. But not to my surprise, he turned it around real, real quick. And what is Justice doing? Cutting off that oxygen. And he's plugging up that nose hole there. Not only is his arm across the throat there, he plugged up those nostrils. Not one bit of oxygen was making its way in there for an extended period of time, Jay Styles. No, and now Justice pulling on the back of Scotty Reigns. And you can see depriving Scotty Reigns of that oxygen was an intelligent tactic. You can almost see his eyes rolling into the back of his head from here. No, no, no. Now, Scotty Rains inching towards the ropes. I tell you what, there is. His arms are only so long to begin with. I don't know what kind of strategy that really is. Wait a minute, Steve, I got a breaking announcement. Just from the oh, jaw breaker. Just from the back. Good God. Chance Profit will be in action next. Against two. I, they won't say. They will not say. But Chance Profit will be. Be out here in action next. You don't want to miss that one, fans. It's a chance to see the NWA National Champ in action. Abs absolutely. Chance Profit, a two-time NWA National Champion. And uh, now Scotty Reigns fighting back here. But it looks like an exchange of blows. Scotty Reigns getting rocked. Justice looks to be in the advantageous position. Sends Reigns off into the ropes. Reigns ducks, though, twice. Oh, my God! Power slam! And he got caught big time there. And I gotta think that justice may prevail here today. I like that. That's a good catchphrase for him. It's justice just measuring him. Oh my! Fist drop right between the eyes. And that just not only does damage to the cranial area, but it waters those eyes, Steve. It impairs your vision. A man that can't see can't defend himself Absolutely very well. Absolutely not. You're not going to call that a dishonest tactic? It was a closed fist. I mean, I, I got a question of Mark Hudgens, but he let it slide. And Why would hey, you hey, question him? It's well, not like he can do anything about it. Wait a minute, he we're weighs down. about as much as Scotty Reigns. I mean, he might be a foot or two taller than Scotty, but... Wait a minute, Justice Benjamin for his spirit, but no! Whoa. Super kick! No. That's no. it! No, Time no, to no, go! No, no, no. Come on, Justice! Come on, man, give me a break. How much longer do we have to watch this guy somehow manage to pull off a flip victory? Well, Scotty Reigns just jumping super high, very quickly avoiding the spear, and out of nowhere, pops that super kick into Justice's jaw and serves Justice on Justice. Well, unfortunately, today, Justice did prevail, but TikTok, Jay Styles, Mark my words, it's Wait, a matter of time. Awesome and, oh my God, is that him? Is that Marcus Awesome? It sure is. And have you ever seen anything most this awesome? Oh, oh, this is beautiful. Get him, boys. Get him, heck yeah, heck no yeah. This is what I call a good time. I've done interviews with Marcus Awesome and fans, you can see his interview on YouTube, but oh. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Scotty Reigns is in some trouble here. Where's the light? I'm in heaven, though. Where's Larry Light? Who cares where Larry Light is? That man can't even spell wrestling these days. Oh. Look at the cockiness of Marcus Awesome. That's confidence, sir. Showmanship is a class act. He knows what it takes to make it in this business. You don't do it by listening to the fans. The fans can say whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. But at the end of the day, if you capture their attention, they're not going to forget you. Oh, and here is Chance Profit. The NWA National and the NWA Dog Pound Champion, Chance Profit. He's here today not to defend a title, not to defend his claim that he's the greatest wrestler that these fans will ever see. He's here to make a statement. 
He's here to take out the maestro by command of Bob Trovich, no less. Well, he said directors. He did not mention Trovich by name. And what is that? What is is that a straight jacket that he is wearing? He well, feels at home in it. But who can question the madness of success as a bad thing? He wants to wear a straight jacket. I say go right the hell ahead and wear the wear the thing. His madness has proven effective thus far. You going to disagree with that? Well, no, I cannot. Double crown champion, it's hard to disagree with that. Speaking of uh, champions, we now have the dubious privilege of finding out who is opponent. Are you kidding me already? Seek and ye shall find, ask and it shall be received. Ain't no freaking way the maestro is crazy enough to come out here. The maestro, the former heavyweight champion, Darn near the world champion. Yeah. Before he dropped the ball. I still blame it on Bulldozer. I mean, go back, look at the footage, fans. Oh, the maestro right here, the maestro made Adam Pierce tap. And, and now, he's right in there. And he is on top of Chance Profit. No time for introductions. Why? Well, you gotta remember Chance Profit asking the maestro before his big match with Adam Pierce, was he ready? and then attacking the maestro in the locker room, which can be seen on MountainStateWrestling.com. And great, great chops by the maestro. I suppose you're going to say that Chance Prof is dishonest with his tactics he's utilized in trying to play head games with the stro, attacking him from behind. You're going to tell me that that's a, that's a poor statement What about the biting? I call it aggression styles. Do you know what aggression yields? Results, victories, national championships, dog pound championships. It seems to have definitely put a permanent smile on the face of Chance Profit. And you gotta think, the winner of this match has to be directly in the sights of Colt Cabana, the new NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Lord on my, I'd love to see Chance Profit get a shot at him. I'd love to see Maestro get a shot at Cole Cabana. Cabasa Chops! Yeah, let's put all our hopes and dreams in that basket again. Oh. You're gonna tell me just because Maestro can make Adam Pierce tap that he deserves another shot at that world title? Yes, I do. Because it was under sus suspect circumstances that the man lost well, in the first place. Well, let's go ahead and put this up to a vote. Let's, let's see if we can get this one going. Hey guys at the website, let's put this one up here. Who believes that the maestro of wrestling deserves a shot at Colt Cabana's NWA World Championship? Boy, that's... Yes or no? Okay, simple question. Or, better question yet, who deserves the shot against Colt Cabana? Maestro or Chance Profit? Make that the question. I would argue the bulldozer deserves it more myself. The bulldozer doesn't deserve Diddley. <laughs> he saved us from having to see the Stro as the world champion. I can't believe I was ever behind that guy. Oh, and look at the great kicks by Chance Prophet. Oh, Stro with those vicious chops across the chest of Prophet. Prophet answering back every time. You see right now, a terrific rake of the eyes there. Very sportsmanlike, if you ask me. Holds on to Stro. Neck breaker across the top turnbuckle. Chance Prophet taking time to antagonize the fans in the front row there with that vicious demeanor of his. But I gotta tell you, that's a humongous waste of time against a man like former heavyweight champion, the maestro. You know, normally I would say that taking the time to do anything involving the fans is an absolute waste, but I can't blame Chance for hating those people. I hate them. Oh, and Stroh, the Prophet fighting back and forth, back and forth. And wait a minute, they're going over to the lovely ladies of Mountain State Wrestling fans. We've got a count going on here. I don't think these men recognize what's happening. Andrew Gibson, the senior referee. Oh no! Chance just rammed him hard into that ring apron. Wait a minute, Andrew Gibson. A bite. Now, now what's interesting about this, this will restart the count out count by Andrew Gibson. As Chance Prophet is over to going towards the nacho stand, but head of steam. Gets caught big time there. Stroke kicked him square in the chin, I believe. Yeah. 
And Stroh just measuring him now and oh! Dropping that big elbow. A lot of weight behind that elbow. Stroh confused by the rules of the match. Or maybe he's forgotten there's a match going on, but he's going for a cross face on the outside of the ring. Chance though, fighting out of that maneuver. Well, I gotta tell you, I'm beginning to think that this match is not about pinfalls or submissions. Oh, and a DDT at the out, one. Oh my God, there's gotta be severe head damage there. Severe head damage? Look at Stroh, look at him, Styles. You he see those eyes? I know. Those eyes are going in the back of his head. Yeah. Every time he opens them, he's not looking around, that's a blank expression. I tell you, he's gonna need a CAT scan or something after this match to get checked. And now... And Chance just continuing to hammer away on that head. But Stroh, I've got to think this is only instinct. Grabbing a hold of that leg, muscling over. As out of it as the maestro is, he's holding on for dear life here. I'm not even sure he's planning on doing as much damage oh, as possible as much as he's trying the to bell. Like, Chance just pounding away with that chair. Stroh's in trouble here. Definitely, we need, we need referees out here. We need some sort of attention. We need medical attention. We have no contest. No contest? No Stroh very slow to get up there. Chance Prophet looks on from the ring. Wait a minute. And the Stroh has taken, taken one of the fans' walkers. And these men are still going at so much bad blood involved here. Oh my! And throw! Oh! Right across the back of Prophet. Doing severe damage to that spine. And Maestro just circling around Prophet. I tell you, Maestro, he looks thirsty. Why don't you give Chance a drink? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Prophet fighting from a position flat on his back, and the referee is trying to break this one up. Oh! And Andrew Gibson slowly down Chance Profit while Mark Hedges cuts off the maestro. We might want to get some more people out here. Absolutely. I don't know if this is going to do it. Neither man looks like he wants to be done with this one. No, he does not. Kramer Security and Investigations, an industry leader, is currently hiring for the position of security officer throughout Southern West Virginia. At Kramer, quality begins and ends with our security officers. We are proud to offer a variety of shifts, competitive wages, professional training, and a great opportunity. For information, please call 304-256-0300. That's 256-0300 or apply in person at our Market Street, Beckley, or Walker Street, Princeton locations. Kramer Security and Investigations, securing your future today. An equal opportunity employer. The fastest sale on wheels is back at Lewis Automotive in Beckley. Rapid price markdowns on every vehicle. Cars, trucks, vans, SUVs, all makes, all models are marked down. Some as much as 50% off original MSRP. Choose from our easy financing options and we'll get you in the vehicle you want at a price you can afford. Plus, we'll buy your vehicle whether you buy from us or not. Rapid price markdowns are back only at Lewis Nissan in Beckley. Call 1-800-TO-BECKLEY or online at lewisautomotive.com. Friday, April 15th, Alderson, West Virginia. Ricky Shane's going to be there. You might as well come on out and see all the great superstars of NWA Mountain State Wrestling. April 16th in Montgomery, West Virginia, the stars of Mountain State Wrestling are coming to town. You better cross that bridge, and you better come on. Dark Horse is going to be there, as well as the rest of the stars. Stro, Ricky Shane, Scotty Reigns. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. Montgomery, West Virginia, April 16th. Iceman Scott Reigns here. You know where I'm going? Same place you guys are going. It's where the TV title's going, baby, to Mount Hope, West Virginia, April 23rd. Be there and support your champion, your television champion. I don't care who it is, they're gonna bring it, and I'm gonna bring it, and I ain't losing this title to nobody. Mount Hope, April 23rd, get ready, baby. Love you, West Virginia. concentrate on what Skeeter looks like 
when you can look the other way and see what Miss Las Vegas looks like there, Jay Styles. What do you mean? Why would you want to look at Skeeter when you could look at her? I'm married. Well, I mean, I can appreciate a, a beautiful woman. Does she look like Skeeter? Now, come on, Steve. That's a little over the line. I can't imagine any woman looking that terrible. Oh, all right. Let's just get to the action. Speaking of guys looking and girls looking, look at Ron Sexton. I mean, that's just a brick wall out there. Very well defined is Ron Sexton. Absolutely. Mark Hutch is calling for the bell, and unfortunately, I've been given notice that Chance Prophet is currently backstage hunting down the maestro, which is why this match was started before his. With any luck, you'll find him so I don't have to see the maestro come out here this morning. Oh, wow, look at the aggression out of Ron Sexton. Wow! Incredible hit tossed by Skeeter. And he is surprising Ron Sexton, and quite frankly, surprising me this morning. I find it insulting that Skeeter calls himself a country boy. Now why is that? I, mean, I like to think of myself as a country boy. I definitely don't consider myself to be anything like Skeeter. I can take a shower in the morning. Oh! Do you have no class, Steve? I swear. I have no class? I have no class. You're gonna tell me that you like Skeeter and I have no class. Oh! With Skeeter now. The Let's going for the pin. Both men back up to their feet. Circling each other here. Neither man too eager to lock back up. Collar and elbow tie up. Ron Sexton goes behind with the rear waist lock. Skeeter trying to grab a hold of one of the legs and break this one up. Maybe sweep it out from under. Yeah, he's trying Ron. to. But I tell you what, Ron Saxon just planted his legs like a tree trunk and went nowhere. Yeah, but only for so long. Look how quickly Skeeter got behind him. Come on, Skeeter. Come on, Referee getting complaints from Ron Saxton. Collar and elbow tie up. Oh, now what an arm drag by Skeeter to take down Ron Sexton. And country trash in control for the moment. What are you doing? Just for a couple. Ron Sexton, though, the dominantly stronger man, kicked out of that one rather easily. And I tell you, Skeeter's just having a good old time in there, going tit for tat with Ron Sexton. taunting Ron Sexton, but now the aggressive forearm shots, and oh, uh-oh, no! Come on! Well, there's a big boot sandwich for you, country boy. I guess he forgot to eat today, and good old Ron Sexton decided to help him out. Oh, no. And I tell you, Ron Sexton and Bob Brown have done a great job of cutting off the corner. It's unfortunate that they haven't cut off Skeeter's head yet. No, wait a minute. Come on, this is a family show. We don't want people calling the TV station. I would just like to see his career cut short. It's figurative. For oh. those of you out there that can't figure that out. Oh, oh okay. Figurative. <laughs> Great body slam by Bob Brown. Oh. And a knee drop. A fantastic leapy knee drop by Bob. Tag into Ron Sexton. Sexton measures. Stiff shot to the gut. You Wait, see Tommy Hawk looking on from the corner, and that's a great place to be if you're Tommy Hawk. You certainly don't want to get in the middle of this one. Just go ahead and let Skeeter take the beating, am I right? Well, wait a minute. Speaking of people taking beatings, Pitbull Bob Brown putting a beating on Skeeter as the referee is out of position, which allows Ron Sexton to now even have a greater advantage in this tag match. Uh, Skeeter trying to get over to the corner and can he make the tag to Tommy Hawk and get him in there? Absolutely not. Wait a minute, Bob Brown? Wait a minute, and yes, he makes the tag. Tommy Hawk. 
fantasy attack. The master of the tomahawk chop. The master of coming in without making a legal tag. Look at Tommy Hawk breaking the rules again. Breaking I mean, the rules. Really. Look at the double team effort by Ron Sexton, Pitbull Bob Brown. All I see are legal maneuvers coming from Ron Sexton and Bob Brown. Get them off their backs. Save your heart attack. Oh. And then we have a tag does bring in Tommy Hawk. Tommy Hawk just getting in front of that side headlock though. Bob Brown towering over Tommy Hawk. Tommy Hawk though, sending him off the ropes. Bob Brown answers with a major shoulder block from Tommy though. Look at the strength of Bob Brown. Well look at the strength in that corner there. Tommy Hawk's young and fast. Skeeter's so old I thought he had more experience than anyone. Ron Sexton definitely knows how to apply it more expertly though. But Bob Brown and Rob Sexton are just so much stronger than Skeeter and Tommy Hawk. If those boys want to stand a chance out there, they're going to have to play the speed game and play it well. And Tommy Hawk using speed to his advantage now. Oh, wait a minute. Great scoop slam by Tommy Hawk. Can he capitalize? Showcasing some great strength there, does Tommy Hawk. But Bob Brown already kicked out of that maneuver. It's going to take a lot more than that to put the much bigger man away. Oh. Tommy Hawk's in head first in that middle turnbuckle there. That is definitely not where he wants to be at Absolutely right now. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. He needs to get out of there immediately. I can barely see him over in that corner there from all the beatings he's taken. Wait a minute now. What is this? This is this is despicable. Look at that. Double elbows takes down Tommy Hawk. Tommy Hawk holding the back of his head. I think he may have got rocked so hard by that one that he hit his head off the canvas on the way down. Oh, Ron Sexton just pounding Tommy Hawk into the dirt. You know, we throw around the term clubbing forearm blows a heck of a lot in this business. But getting hit by the arms of Ron Sexton is a lot like getting hit with a ball bat. I was going to say the exact same thing, Steve. I mean, it looks like a humongous Louisville slugger out there, the big end, just dropping down on Tommy Hawk. Wait a minute, what's Skeeter doing? I don't know, but he needs to focus on maybe throwing in the towel before his young partner gets hurt out there. I, I imagine Sean and Robbie are real thrilled in the back watching this rookie out here. Why? Oh, well, I tell you, Tommy Hawk is not that much of a rookie. He has been around the game for a while, but he doesn't look like it right now. Three, we're down to three minutes in this big match with Ron Sexton. Is he going to be able to put away Tommy Hawk here? Are they going to be able to put Tommy Hawk together after the match? That might be the better question. Ron Sexton now in complete control as he pulls Tommy Hawk up to the ropes, whipping him reversal. Oh, Tommy Hawk, great to the midsection, break back Skeeter in. Tag. Skeeter in there. Hits Ron Sexton with a vicious forearm. Squarely on the chest. Ron Sexton, though, right over to his corner. And the hawk back to Bob Brown, who gets blocked by Skeeter coming in with a fist to the forehead. Sends Bob Brown off the ropes. Bob Brown coming back off. Tremendous clothesline by Skeeter, who immediately tags out to Tommy Hawk. This better be the speed game we were talking about. Absolutely. And that's, there you go. And a worn down Bob Brown is taken apart by Tommy Hawk. Tommy. Bob, Bob Brown in the wrong corner. I'm with, I think it's just a matter of time now before we see the Tomahawk chop. Oh no, but a big splash tag from Skeeter back in. Country Boy goes in and attempts a pinfall. Two count only though. Oh wait a minute, what is Ron Sexton doing? Giving Skeeter a wake up call. No. You see Skeeter out there, head of steam, everything going his way, but he's not paying attention to what's around him. And you cannot take an opponent like Ron Sexton, you cannot take an opponent like Bob Brown for granted for a single second, especially in a tag team scenario. Those are men that know how to get the job done on their terms, and I'm sorry, Jonathan Stiles, but their terms are more effective than Tommy Hawks and Skeeters. Well, they are not the above board methodology that I would like to see. <laughs> Well, 
I'm sure you would like to see a lot of things that I wouldn't like to see. I like to see fantastic wrestling contests, and I like to see an ending to those contests that I can appreciate. No, no, Ten. come on, Bob. I mean, seriously, it's not like I have to worry about anything. The tag brings Tommy Hawk back in. Oh, there's that Tomahawk chop. Wait a minute. But there's that tag out to Ron Six. No, come on, come on, Ron. No, 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 no. Ron, come Tommy on. Tommy Hawk trying to get a Tomahawk oh. chop. Oh. oh, two count, no. And a melee at the. All four men in the ring here. Tommy Hawk has that side headlock on Ron. Ron puts his mouth, Tommy answers back with a big shoulder block. Skater battering a ramp shots on Bob Brown in the corner. Crisscross. Oh, then what's Miss Las Vegas doing? Tommy Hawk tripped on the ropes there. No, he did not. Miss Las Vegas grabbed his leg. I saw it clear as day. Stay in. I didn't see that. What are you talking about, Jonathan? Tommy Hawk tripped. And the referee is claiming that a disqualification should, should take place. Are you kidding me? Absolutely. She tripped him up. I disagree with that. You see Skeeter running away like a coward. We're used to seeing that out of him. No. I'm sure Ron's used to seeing it out of him. For the past 16 years, Mark Hunt has helped hundreds of people who were injured in a car wreck. Mark Hunt and Associates help people put their lives back together after a car wreck. We get cars repaired, medical bills and lost wages paid, and get you the compensation deserved. Call Mark Hunt and Associates. We have the experience to help you when you can't help yourself. Mark Hunt and Associates, 304-344-1800 or on the web at www.markahunt.com. Carl, for the past few weeks, I've hit you with everything I could pick up. I've hit you with some of the most devastating moves in my arsenal. I've hit you with steel chairs. <laughs> Last week we beat the crap out of each other with kendo sticks. But yet you still run your mouth. After this week, there's only two words you're going to be able to say, and that's I quit. Last night, I put an end to you in the ladder match. I defeated you, Ricky, and I got the contract for any time, anywhere for a shot at this, which I cashed in that very night and defeated the Stro and became the first ever Grand Slam champion in Mountain State history. <laughs> That's right. This beautiful belt now belongs to me. These letters Mountain State. There hasn't been anybody in this company that's represented it more than I have. I am this company. <laughs> and Leonard Sims, I finally got the title that proves it. And there's nothing that you can do about it. <laughs> Can you tell me when the last time was that you've seen a more befitting heavyweight champion of NWA Mountain State Wrestling? Maestro. Shut up. No one cares about you, Ricky Shane. Gibson, part of the best of five series. Nice and one. it's go time, ladies and gentlemen. It is go time. A lot on the line this morning for Ricky Shane. But a lot more on the line for Carl. This is his first time on top of the mountain. Ricky's been there before, though. He'd like to see it again, wouldn't he? Absolutely. Well, he's got his shot this morning. This is pro wrestling. You don't say cut in pro wrestling. You just go bell to bell. We're going to see who the better man is this morning. My money's on Carl, but you never know. Ricky Shane can always pull it off. 
I've never seen a man look more dynamite in the ring. What? I've he, never seen a man look more dynamite who, in the Ricky? ring than Ricky. Yeah, well, I gotta I thought, tell you. I, I was gonna say he looks legit. Yeah. He looks legit, he looks dynamite, he looks all of those things. But as fantastic as he looks out there, as legitimately dynamite as he looks, he's not the psycho Superman. What? Carl doesn't rely on veteran instinct and ring knowledge to let him prevail. He relies on an inner madness, the likes of which mortal men will never truly understand. But that madness has yielded results. It's yielded a heavyweight title. Can you argue with that? No, I cannot. No, I can't. But I tell you, Ricky Shane had a great strategy at the beginning of the match, and that's to disassemble a body part because the only way you are going to win is by submission. It's not tapping. It's making your opponent shout those words, I quit. Fantastic side headlock by Ricky Shane. But I don't know how effective that's really going to be against a man with a skull as provenly thick as Carl's. You see Carl just sliding right out of that headlock, transitioning directly into a hammerlock. And he's got firm control, not only on the wrist, but on the fingers of Ricky Shane. Ricky ducks under, though. Comes back over. He's got Carl's arm locked up now. No. Cuts it off at the bicep, pressing down on the top of the forearm. Carl's got a handful of hair, though, and that's a great tactic for Carl. That arm drag take down and see this is where the veteran status of Ricky Shane comes into play. He is continuously dismantling that same arm since the beginning of the match. He has not foregone to any other body part. He has capitalized and stayed on that one arm. And he definitely wants to keep doing that. That takes away Carl's signature maneuver, the straight jacket. You can't really lock that maneuver in if you're working with a bum wing. Oh yeah, and not only that, the other signature maneuver, the Psycho Crusher. Oh, I love that move, don't you? Absolutely. Wouldn't it be great to see him do it to Ricky Shane tonight? Well, I'd love to see it, but I mean, with a, with a bum wing, could he even a, attempt to accomplish the Psycho Crusher, much less the straight jacket? Well, if anyone can pull it off, it's Carl. That man might feel pain, but he actually enjoys it. So I imagine he can work with anything. And you see the new heavyweight champ standing tall over Ricky Shane, going from submission maneuver to wear down hold with ease. Ricky Shane, though, came back up to a vertical base. And he's trying to figure out a way out of this. A lot of knowledge in that man. He's going to send Carl off the ropes. Carl gets back oh. off. Shoulder block advantage goes to Carl, though. Oh, no. Oh, and see, what a great maneuver by Ricky because he throws down the arm of Carl first. And that was a wonderful Japanese arm drag. Carl sends him into the turnbuckle and clips the knee out behind him, though. And you see, as good as Ricky is, as fantastic as he is in that ring, Carl one step ahead of him there. You've got to do a lot of damage to a man like Carl if you want to keep him down, especially with what he has on the line now. And that changes things for a man, doesn't it, Chase Tiles? Absolutely, it definitely does. And now Carl trying to take out the leg of Ricky Shane, which is going to change the entire tempo of this match. Absolutely, Ricky Shane very quick. The man moves like a junior heavyweight out there. And Carl doesn't want to let him just fly around that ring at all. He doesn't want him to speed around that ring in the least. Definitely, definitely not. And Carl doing anything and everything to his advantage. And for the rookies out there, this is Wrestling 101 in this contest. You saw earlier with Ricky. You pick out one body part, you stay with it. Ricky went for the arm, Carl went for the leg. And you're going to see Carl continue to focus on that throughout the match. It's the mark of a veteran. It's the mark of a champion. Absolutely. And, uh, and let's not take anything away from Ricky Shane. Ricky Shane is a former heavyweight champion. And he, to not only win that title, but to hold that title, you have to have knowledge of the ring. And you see, Carl, that is the ultimate. That is the ultimate strategy in this match. He has Ricky completely tied up. There's nothing he can do to break it. There's nothing he can do to get out of it. There's nothing he can do to hurt Carl right now. And Carl is just doing everything he can to not only disintegrate, but perhaps permanently injure that leg of Ricky Shane. Absolutely. And now, and Carl with a chop block. 
and he just clips that leg right out from behind Ricky Shane. And, and like, a, like a good veteran would, he continues to work on the same body part. Figure four firmly locked in, not just the same body part, but the same maneuver. Absolutely, and it continuously works those ligaments, those muscles in the legs and the knees, and I know that you are an expert when it comes to knees, Steve, and damage that can be done to a patella area. It's, it's a very dangerous situation for Ricky, and you notice with the positioning of that figure four leg lock, one ankle is being driven into the other patella on the opposite leg. That's double damage. Carl knows how to apply the pressure expertly. Oh, and a reversal by Ricky Shane. Are you kidding me? How the heck was he ever able to do that? Uh, just instinct, sheer instinct allowed him to flip over. But look over here. As impressive as that was, Ricky Shane is beyond not in a position to capitalize. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait a minute, both men just stopped suddenly. Both men colliding there. The collision. Ricky sending uh, Carl uh, for Epson. Oh, and a spine buster by Ricky Shane, but. Look at him, hold on to that leg. Look. I got a question right now. Yeah, we know the rules in this match. We know the layout, we know what's at stake. But at what point does a referee need to step in and say, brother, enough's enough. You got heart. But I can't let you walk out of here without the ability to provide for yourself later in life. Come on. Come on. Oh, and a double axe handle but right look, directly to the spine. Look at Ricky's face, though. Oh, Ricky's this is what cheery pain. This is what sports pain. psychologists refer to as the five points of pain. That's the expression on Ricky Shane's face. It's involuntary pain that you suffer doing routine maneuvers in your sport. Ricky's in serious trouble here. He could be looking at a long-term injury. Yeah, he is in a dominant position. But you see, every time he performs an offensive maneuver, pain, pain is etched across his face. And I tell you what, that's the mark of a champion, a man who can work through pain. It might be the mark of a champion, but it also may be the mark of the end of a career if you're not careful. And now, Ricky Shane cinching in that looks like a camel clutch from my vantage point, Steve. And this is a good idea for Ricky at the moment. It at least keeps him from having to move around on that leg. But even sitting in that position, the angle that his knee's at, that still isn't a good position for a man that's suffered that much pain already throughout the match, who's suffered that much damage. Not at all. Ricky dragging Carl back up. The great slam is... Ricky attempting to measure him and continuously going to work. Well, Ricky oh, Shane. Looks like he's gonna go for a surfboard stretch here, maybe? No. Nope. What is this, Steve? Rocking chair time, brother. Call out grandfather, because it's time to see this move in action. It's referred to as a rocking chair because of that motion right there. Not only is the body tied up, but you rock your opponent back and forth with all that pressure on all those joints. And Ricky Shane right now, he's thinking payback. I suffered a lot in this match, it's time to punish Carl. No, I may not like Ricky, but he knows how to hurt a man. Absolutely. Well, I mean, Ricky was part of probably the most talented faction here at one point in Mountain State Wrestling. Most and, gifted faction of all time. Absolutely. And to be able to be a leader like he was, you have to be aggressive. It's a lot like being an A-lister, really. Only so many people get invited into the upper echelon. Ricky Shane was there, and he may have spit on his past, decided that he wanted to high-five these fans, but he still knows how to mix it up. He still knows what to do out there when the rules are gone. And Ricky Shane going for a signature maneuver, that face stomp after putting Carl into the tree, or whoa! And he's got Carl firmly tied up. Oh, my Lord! And oh Carl my just Lord. kicking the back of the knee. Sometimes a counter is so simplistic in nature that you overlook how effective it is, but that counter was absolutely simple and beyond effective. It's a leg he's been focusing on, and the momentum that Ricky Shane carried himself down with, that was a trouble situation. I can't believe Ricky's back on the offense already. Hey, wait a minute, what, Carl? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's no disqualification. 
We call reverse the Cyrus whip. And he wraps that chain straight around the neck of Ricky. And you see Ricky's face starting to turn a little bit purple here. That's definitely a telltale sign of oxygen deprival. And there's Absolutely. nothing that referee can do about this. Absolutely. You see making their way out here. Nope. Now, uh, Steve, I think you are. A couple of fans out. that didn't see what's been going on when they went out there for a quick break, they're looking in awe. Oh, yeah. They didn't expect to see this. That's why I have to practice bladder control when I come out here, because, I mean, you don't want to miss a minute of this. Absolutely not. NWA Mountain State Wrestling. You think you've seen it all? Then you see us. Oh, they, and that's an excellent analysis of it. Wait a minute. Carl on that middle rope, Ricky Shane with the chain now. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we're going to see the Psycho Crusher. Yeah, no. Oh, my word. Ricky Shane oh, my word. Gone. He held on for dear life. And now he's got Carl. Carl he, says it, he says it quits. He says Are it quits. Are you kidding me? Yes, Ricky Are Shane wins. Are you kidding me? No! No! And Ricky Shane, victorious. Friday night, April 15th, Alderson, West Virginia. Andy Awesome, Mr. Cruz, we will be there to hurt somebody. Tell them, big man. <laughs> You know, I don't even care about the 15th. It's the 23rd Mount Hope I'm talking about. Bunkhouse Boys, I've been looking for you since I was 17 years old, and I finally got you. I'm <laughs>